You know, Las Vegas has always been basketball first. Hockey proved that Southern Nevada can and will support major sports. So with the NBA in town this week, the commissioner and other NBA owners hear what, if any progress is being made on landing an NBA franchise. NBA has been on the lips of Nevada politicians for years. Back in 2007, the league formed a committee to discuss Las Vegas as a host city. Fast forward to 2016, and an arena is being built. With the new T Mobile Arena that MGM built, we'll undoubtedly get the NBA. The NBA Summer League was first, then the WNBA. So the NBA is a slam dunk. It's uh, just a matter of, it's not when, it's a matter of when. Uh, it's not, it's not a matter of whether, it's when. That's what everybody is saying, not if, but when. Here's the perfect setting. Today, Commissioner Adam Silver holding his press conference. So set up and orchestrated that no local media were allowed questions. I'd be happy to take any questions. Tim Reynolds okay. with the Associated Press. Steve Ashman or NBA.com. Young Musick, ESPN. Mark Virginia Bay Area News Group. Rachel Nichols from ESPN. Mark Spears, the undefeated. So anything about Vegas, this is what we got. All right, thank you, Adam, and thanks for all of you for being here. Crickets, no questions allowed. Proving the NBA still holds the cards in a city built on cards. Have you guys considered, and how close are you considering moving the start of free agency from, I don't know, midnight to, let's say, <laughs> 6, 7 p.m.? <laughs> All right, somewhat disappointed there, a little disappointed, but the commissioner did address one important issue, the one and done issue, kids leaving after their freshman season. That might change. I, you know, I, my personal view is that we're ready to make that change, that it won't come immediately, but that when, I, when I've weighed the, the pros and cons, that given that Condoleezza Rice and her commission has um, recommended to the NBA that those one-and-done players now come directly into the league, and in essence, the college community is saying, we do not want those players anymore. All right, we'll see.